you know who we haven't talked about in a while? Clackamas County Chair Tootie Smith. You remember her, right? She made headlines last year for going on Fox News and saying this about Governor Kate Brown's COVID restrictions. We do not need to be treated as second-rate slaves in our own homes. Age is like a fine wine. Well, apparently she's still not happy about the governor's restrictions. You wouldn't expect her to be because that's really all she's posted about on Facebook later, lately. Stuff about mask mandates, how they don't work, how they're violating everybody's civil liberties, all the usual talking points. You know, nothing really on there about the fact that Oregon hospitals, some of them are close to being overwhelmed with a surge in COVID cases like we've never seen before, but I digress. I got this email from Mary. Mary said, when we hear a county leader like Tootie Smith enlist her supporters in attacking the governor's mask mandate is confusing and, and hurtful. She spouts misinformation, discounting all the science that supports the vaccine and how effective mask usage is. Wasn't there a movement in the fall to remove her from office? And that question brings us to our new segment, Recall Roundup. <music> So yes, last fall, people started talking about recalling 2D Smith. The thing is, she wasn't actually sworn into office until January, and the law says you have to wait at least six months to recall someone. Well, there was a website up for the recall campaign, but they haven't posted anything recently. We've reached out to the organizers, but we haven't heard back. There's also a website up to recall Smith's fellow commissioner, Mark Scholl. After he took office in January, a constituent dug up a bunch of racist and Islamophobic Facebook posts that he made. Then in June, he introduced a ban on vaccine passports that compared them to Jim Crow laws, and he took some flack for that. Now, now, the recall websites for Smith and Shaw do have pages asking people to pledge to sign the recall petition. But we asked the Secretary of State's office about this, and they told us Clackamas County Elections has not received a request to approve a petition for circulation for either Commissioner Smith or Commissioner Shaw. So it doesn't look like these recall petitions have actually been filed at all yet. Now, there's another recall petition that has been filed, a group called Total Recall is trying to remove Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler from office. They're critical of his leadership, his response to the protests, this homeless crisis that we're dealing with, the heat wave, a bunch of stuff, okay? I mean, it's safe to say Wheeler isn't the most popular that he's ever been right now, but according to OPB, the recall campaign isn't getting a lot of signatures right now. The experts don't think that they're gonna get the 47,000 signatures they need by that October deadline. 